All right, Benjamin, how you doing, sir? Can you hear me? I'm good. Yeah, I'm here, buddy. Sorry, I was on mute. No worries, no worries. What's going on? How you doing, man? I'm hanging in there. Had a boy. Had a boy. I was hoping uh, you can help me out on some standpipe design stuff. Possibly. Let's let's take a look at what you got going on. All right, we had a project here where we're uh, swapping out the fire pump on an existing building uh, was built back in 1987. Okay. Um, the fire pump that uh, we spec'd out from our fire pump specialist, Mr. Fred, he had stated that um, the pump might need to be a little bit bigger due to the fact that the building um, or the city lost 10% of their static pressure at that location since the uh, pump was designed back in 87. Understood. And I guess some requirements have changed as well. Um, that he had stated based on the the pump characteristics, it was rated at 100 GPMs. Let me make sure I'm doing it right. Um, I think it was like something like 90 PSI. And he's saying now the requirement is down to 60 PSI. Long story short, I had took his pump uh, specs and put it into the design. I don't know if I can, how can I share the screen? What do I push? So there's a button on the lower right corner of the window that says Paul is presenting. You just click on yep. that. Is there anywhere to sh show you my screen? Yeah, if you click on that button, it should ask okay. you if you want to take over, and then it'll ask you what screen, if you want to share an application or your entire window or entire screen. Select the entire screen and then pick whichever monitor if you've got multiple monitors. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, it's my first time doing this, so I'm trying to. Not a problem, man. Figure this out. Uh, down at the bottom. I see. Paul's presenting. There you go. Uh, a window. Present a window. Entire screen. Uh, select entire screen. Sometimes okay. when you select a window, it, it doesn't, uh, it, it won't display dialog boxes pop up and then just pick whichever window you've got auto sprink on or gotcha yeah all right you see that yes sir cool so um, one kind of problem that I was having Brian that I was seeing um, normally when I do the standpipe calculation I'll do flow the manual devices uh -huh. um, and when I do flow so I have you can see here I have three stairwells yes sir um, flowing 500 at the most remote 250 in between so I'm trying to flow the thousand um, when I calculate flowing devices it's calculating 1100 GPM so it's adding a hundred somewhere yes sir um, I don't see it on the outside hose demand. Um, I'm not quite sure why that extra hundred is popping up. So this is a this is specifically related to settings, specifically okay. my settings that I created, <laughs> that that I that I screwed up. <laughs> yeah. Matter of fact, I think they are loaded. In. <laughs> um, so to correct that, um, and it took me a minute to, to finally figure this out on my end, but. Uh, there is a there's an easy fix here. If you if you change the default properties of um, your th the three remote areas, standard, boundary, and box. The way I had set up these settings is I by default I had um, specified a, a hose allowance override for each of those three remote areas, and for some reason the program is pulling that. Um, hose allowance data from the remote area default properties and applying it in the hydraulic calculations. Yeah, that's it's funny because when I drop a remote area, just anyone, yep. um, and I calculate it through that, then it, it removes it. Away. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. So um, if, if you go to your settings and you go to default properties, select each one of those remote areas and then uncheck the hose allowance override, then you'll be able to calculate manually flowing devices without a remote area in the drawing. 
Yeah, so then just click on boundary first. Uncheck that override outside hose. Hit OK. Do the same thing for standard and box. I this is the 100. Yep, there it is. That's, that's <laughs> the one. Yep, that's the one it's pulling from. Yeah, okay. you showed me this a long time ago, too. So yeah. now if you run... Um, if you run an analysis with manually flowing devices, that, yeah. That, that, awesome. That corrected that. Cool, cool.